In this video, we're going to take a look at why I chose the Vision Buddy 4 Max compared to Eastside Go and Sound good? Sound interesting? Check this out. Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Mike. This is the Legally Blind Geek YouTube channel where we focus on overcoming low vision challenges. Today we're comparing the eSight Go and the Vision Buddy 4 Max wearable low vision devices. Why did I choose the Vision Buddy 4 Max over the eSight Go? Well, it's, it's really pretty simple. To start with, I had a goal. And basically my, my main goal was to, I wanted to be able to take this device outside and watch my daughters play and coach fast pitch softball. And, and one of the issues that I have is being legally blind and looking across the field, I can't recognize who anybody is. So that's why I wanted to use these devices. And um, in addition to that, you know, I, I've got a monocular, but it, it gets kind of tiring where holding your hand up here and moving around and focusing it in and out, trying to watch a game. Because with the magnification being high enough that I could actually see the expressions on the girls' faces and the numbers on their jersey, their name, and recognize who they were, that was quite laborious, as you, you may imagine. So I wanted to get into one of these, you know, digital VR headset wearable devices because it's, it's more comfortable to be able to, or it's easier to be able to, I think, throw this on and my hands are free to do whatever. And with, uh, on the Vision Buddy 4 Max, there's a 16 megapixel camera, which is the 16 megapixel Sony digital camera that uses the zoom and some really good color, vivid colors that make it easy for my old eyes to function. Now, the uh, eSight Go had a couple of issues. One, when I stood behind home plate or I stood in the scorer's table that was behind the backstop, which was, say, around 250, 240 feet away from the fence that the banners were hung on, I could not use the eSight Go to focus in on and read the verbiage that was on the banner. With the Vision Buddy 4 Max, I could. Another thing that um, I didn't really care for on the eSight Go was well, it's just like wearing a pair of just sunglasses or more like a pair of welding goggles actually that don't fit very well. Now that's not to say they're uncomfortable because the thing that sits on the bridge of your nose, it's adjustable, you know, so it sits on there and it, it feels okay. The head, you know, the harness that goes around your head, that's okay. I mean, it works as well as any of them. It's adjustable, so it, it fit my head okay. But the problem that I had was it's open all the way around. So there's a lot of light that can come in on the side, the distractions from your peripheral, whereas with the Vision Buddy, you don't have that. It seals against your face, which it has its downsides as well because, you know, it gets a little bit hot. You know, just sealing something around your face, imagine it, it, it does get hot. But it helps me to focus in on what I wanted to see better than the eSight Go did. Now, one of the things that I've got some friends in the VA, older gentlemen that use the eSight Go and swear by it, one of the things that they like is because it is open around so they can use their peripheral. And basically what they do is they'll slide it up on the bridge of their nose so the screen is a little bit high. So then they can look up and they can see the magnification on the screen or they can look down below the screen and use their peripheral vision that they still have left to be able to walk so they can wear this device and they can walk and you know do their mobility stuff at the same time and then when they want to be able to like read a sign that is close or see, see something that's close and recognize faces and stuff like that all they have to do is instead of looking down to see where they're going is they just look up to that screen and see the magnification so that does work for some people it just doesn't work for me so in short the Vision Buddy 4 it's got a better, clearer image for me 
then does the eSight Go. And in addition to that, it's easy to set up and watch television with the Vision Buddy 4 Max, which is a game changer for a lot of people that like to watch television. And not only can you watch TV on it, with the included, uh, in, in the box when you buy the Vision Buddy, you get a uh, proprietary Wi-Fi router that you basically, you can hook up to your, um, your cable box, your Apple TV. You can even hook it up with an adapter. You can hook it up to your iPad, your iPhone, your MacBook, whatever. And you can see what's on the screen inside the Vision Buddy, which we'll cover that a little bit more in a video over here about how to connect the Vision Buddy 4 Max to an iPad, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in. So those are the reasons why I choose the Vision Buddy 4 Max over the eSight Go. You might like something different. I did include the um, contact information in the description down below from the young man that came out and demoed these devices for me. He represents the eSight Go, the Vision Buddy, the Patriot Viewpoint, and a lot of other digital devices for the visually impaired that you may find useful. So check out the description down below for that. If you like this information, you like this content, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Make sure you click the notification bell. Click all or ding the little bell so you get made aware of when we post new information. Thank you very much. Share your comments in the comment section down below. I'll catch you next video.